Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to carry out a forward pass on a network diagram. You will recall from our last video that we converted the network diagram from this format, which used circular nodes, to this format, which is using um, squares instead of circles. This is the activity and this is the duration. And the forward pass will start from left to right, so it's moving from start to finish. And I'll only be working with the top rows. So the only things I'll be working with in the forward pass are the earliest start time and the earliest finish time. We'll go back to the latest start time and the latest finish time later. So I'm only working with the top rows for now. So let's start. By convention, we always assume that um, every project, the first activity starts in time zero. So I'm going to write zero over there. Now I also know that activity A takes four weeks to be completed. So if I add up zero plus four, that's four weeks and that's my earliest finish time. So I finished activity four in week, activity A, sorry, in week four, and I'm going to take that to B. So I'm going to write four there. Activity B the duration of it is 6.83, so if I add up 4 plus 6.83, that's 10.83. I think you guessed by now what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take this earliest finish time and I'm going to make it the earliest start time of the next activity. So 10.83 goes there. 10.83 plus 6.83 is 17.66. I'm going to get the 17.66 and insert it as the earliest start time for activity E. 17.66 plus 16, that's 33.66. Now, hang on a minute, before I move on to activity G, um, because activity G is dependent on two activities, which are E and F, I first need to complete this part of the network diagram before I decide the earliest start time for activity G. So I'm moving on to activity C, and activity C can start just like B in week 4. 4 plus 3.17, that's 7.17. Activity F can start in week 7.17. 7 7.17 plus 5, that's 12.17. Now which number should I insert here? Should I insert the 33.66 or should I insert 12.17? What we're saying here is that activity G can't start before both E and F are completed. So even if I finish activity F by week 12.17, that means I can't start activity G before E is completed, and E is completed in week 33.66. As a quick reminder, if it's the top row, you always choose the highest or the biggest number, which in this case is 33.66. Thirty three point six six plus two, that's thirty five point six six. Activity H can start in thirty five point six six. Thirty five point six six plus three, that's thirty eight point six six. Before I move on to activity J, I first have to finish activity I, so moving on to activity I, activity I can start on 35.66 and the earliest finish time for activity I would be 35.66 plus 3.17 which is 38.86. Again, I have a decision to make for activity J. Which one should I choose? Should I choose 38.83 or 38.66? In this case, 38.83 is a little bit bigger. So 38.83 will go there. 
38.83 plus 4, that's 42.83. Activity K can start on 42.83. 42.83 plus 2, that's 44.83. And if we're working correctly, that 44.83 should be exactly the same as the time taken to finish the longest path. Let's check. Going back to the book, here we are. That's our 44.83, which means that the forward pass was completed correctly. In our next video, I'm going to show you how to work out the backward pass in order to fill in the latest start time and the latest finish time.